scams on Facebook and social media. This one is a Nigerian scam. It's done by an organized crime group called Boom Challenge, which operates They focus on people who need housing, low-income housing, HUD, affordable housing, and then they throw this Nigerian prince crap in. A Nigerian prince scam has been around forever. So in this situation, person is supposedly going to get $10 million. Um, that's U.S. dollars. It's a huge chunk of change, of course. But here's how a Nigerian prince scam works. First part is theft of identity. They're going to get you to fill out an application or commit to who you are, what you are, everything pertinent about you. So theft of identity begins. Second part of this is the scam itself with the fraud, with the financial portions. Um, frequently, they'll send you a stolen check, whether it's a cashier's check or a personal check um, for, could be $100, could be $1,000, could be a Hundred thousand dollars, a million, ten million. I've seen a hundred million. I've seen higher. Whatever it is, if you actually would receive the check, the check will bounce in seven to ten days. Uh, they convince the victims to send a portion to them. Nigerian prince scams have a advanced payment fee built in always, meaning this person is going to get ten million dollars in fake money. But in the process, they're going to be a victim of sending money to the scammers as part of this entire intricate scam. So Nigerian Prince Scam is what you would look up if you want to research it. Um, scams are well explained on ftc.gov backslash scams and also on the first page of warnings on Craigslist of all places. Craigslist used to be the really bad website. It's actually been a lot cleaner than some of the other social media sites. Um, here's what's going on. So in this situation, uh, let's say the person magically thought they're going to win this check for $10 million. They're going to give out all their information, theft of identity occurs, and then they'll probably have to send money to somewhere, some, some place somewhere for some reason. Um, if you're selling products online, usually they ask you to deal with a shipper, or it could be whatever, uh, odd fees. I've seen it listed many different ways. So be aware of these scams. They're still out there. Um, and you'll encounter these a lot if you sell anything on social media, marketplace, or on a classified ads listing. The checks bounce in 7 to 10 days by banking laws. The victim is held liable for that check bouncing. And it's surprising how many checks you could get offered uh, if you're selling. Go sell a couch on a classified ad section. You might get two or three offers to for hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars, more than your couch. And that's where this whole overpayment scam part and that advance fee payment thing comes into play. So learn and report. FTC.gov backslash scams. And then we're going to continue down on this Facebook page just a little bit. Let's see what else is, appears down in here. Oh, there's another one. Boom Challenge, the organized crime group on what on Facebook that does out of Nigeria. They advertise houses that they don't even own and get people to fill out applications for theft of identity and to send money for properties they don't even own. Oh, and here's another twist of my Nigerian prince scam. Instead of that $10 million check, today, may you become so financially stable that God will use your pocket to bless others. Amen. Nasty people. They don't care whose name they use, God, Allah, Jesus, whoever. They don't care. They just want their money. They're scammers. Um, most of these people are in Nigeria or India. There are U.S.-based scammers. There are scammers based in other countries. But this is that nasty boom challenge group. Um, which I hope eventually gets totally taken down. 
um, be sure to watch DVR. That's D E E V E E A A R on YouTube. He's one of the scam fighters who takes down call centers and call floods them. I'm hoping that more people like him get involved in taking down this organized crime group on Facebook and social media. Because social media is not protecting you. Be aware of it.